Hey everybody, Dylan Distraction here, coming to you live from Fat Atlantic Studios. Thought I'd do a quick back to drawing board, show it's on my drawing table, talk about comic books. Still working on this Midnighter piece. Haven't had a lot of time to draw this weekend. It's been uh, hectic, but just kind of chipping away at it and really just trying to take my time. I'm not in any rush. There's uh, no deadline on any of these Gen October pieces. It's, uh, it's kind of nice to not have to be hurried. So I'm just kind of enjoying the process of slowly chipping away at this. Uh, also gonna work on this Deathstroke. Uh, I started with the head and I just was uh, messing around with the inks and doing some whiteout. My whiteout is a Posca, Posca. I love these things, they're great. And you can ink over them, which is really nice because I've used whiteouts before and um, the correction fluid doesn't enable you to be able to use a pen. Like you could do a brush over it sometimes, but actually using a pen over it doesn't work so good. So it's really nice to be able to have that option of inking back over and the Posca is super useful for that. So just going through here and removing some of the pencil underdrawing. Uh, previously I've done blue line underdrawing, but with this I just went pencil, penciled everything out, and then I'm just erasing the pencil. And so like uh, Eric Larson would go through and pencil while he's inking. So I'm trying that a little bit where I kind of pencil, ink, pencil, ink, rework things a little bit, go back over them. And definitely thinking about composition, using, trying to do full figure and looking at David Finch's stuff, looking at Mark Silvestri's stuff, looking at a bunch of different artists to just kind of feel inspired and be excited to create, you know, I, I want to try to develop techniques and habits that are going to be beneficial in the long run and that people respond to, people are excited about. So that's what I'm trying to do. Create a style that is easily creatable, right? Like I don't want to have some sort of style where it's like, oh geez, I'll never be able to pull this off. There's just too much to it. So instead I'm trying to um, cause the thing is before I'd be doing gray wash, I'd be doing tones, I'd be doing, instead now I'm thinking I'm just going to be doing more rendering or at least on some pieces, just doing a heavy render. Um, because I like that look, you know, I like the look of a heavy render. I think it looks nice when it's, when it's finished. So just trying to kind of do heavy render on some of this stuff, a lot of cross hatching, which I don't usually do a lot of, but fun to do cross hatching. It's kind of mind numbing, you don't have to really think very much, just render the forms and work around them and, and whatever looks cool, you go with it. So this is Midnighter from The Authority. I haven't uh, read any modern Authority comics. I haven't read any modern Midnighter. I know Paul Pelletier, my buddy Paul Pelletier did a uh, Midnighter and Apollo story in some sort of a DC annual or um, maybe it was a, um, one of those multiple creators on a book kind of thing. What do they call those? There's a name for it. You know what I'm talking about. He did one of those. Anthology. Thank you. Anthology. The word I'm looking for is anthology. So I think he did some work on an anthology years, years ago at this point. I want to say it was days ago, but I think it was years ago. So yeah, I haven't gotten to hang out with people a lot lately. Been super busy, but um, I just want you to all know I miss you. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I miss you, and I look forward to seeing you again. I hope our paths cross. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're filling your life with things you love and enjoy. You're having fun, doing fun stuff, and being creative, being productive. I'm trying to be creative and productive, I promise. So yeah, I like these erasers, these um, vanish erasers. They don't pick up a lot of the ink, but they get the pencil real good. They get the pencil real good. So I'm gonna come in here with this thinner pen and just kind of do some of this smoky stuff. I wanna have this sort of smoky texture in the background, just to kind of set the figure off a little bit, but not overdo it. I want it to be just kind of nice. And nice little happy wisps of smoke. Nothing too distracting. 
I want the figure to really shine. So we're gonna do some smoke like that, like it's going away from you. Like this and like this. Like this, like this. That looks kind of cool. Just a little textury, smoky stuff. If I had a colorist, that'd be where the colorist could go like could go wild and do some cool colors, but there's no colorist, so that's just what it's gonna look like. Like that. Smoke. That looks good. Compositionally looks good. So yeah, I've been looking at uh Mark Silvestri and Dan Green, the X-Men stuff that Earthfall. Love that stuff. That stuff scared the crap out of me. I remember reading that, and there's this point where they uh, stumble upon a meteor that had fallen to Earth, a group of campers, and they don't realize that the meteor is a giant shark, and the giant shark is a brood ship, which eats one of the people. And I remember, I had seen Jaws, I think, at that point as a kid, and uh, it scared the heck out of me. <laughs> like, wait a second. There's alien space shark ships? What is going on? That's real? I just, it was horrifying to me. And the way that Mark Silvestri and Dan Green drew it, even to this day, like, just viscerally, it's just so brutal. So definitely a highlight of being a kid was reading that story and having it traumatize me. So everybody should have those things that they see as a youngster and they can't forget. They're just buried in your mind. And that is one of them. My subconscious. When I close my eyes at night, I think of that brood spaceship that Mark Silvestri and Dan Green drew in Earthfall in an X-Men comic in 1996? No, 1995? Maybe it's been earlier. But I digress. So yeah, just drawing in some wispy smoke. And I should sign it somewhere. Maybe I'll sign it down here in this rock. I like to sign it big. Sign on this rock. We'll sign it right there. Bam. So yeah, definitely beat the crap out of this tip on this pen. But I kind of like it. It's getting me like this weird sort of texture thing going on, which I think is really nice. Now, I could keep going in and rendering rocks all day, but at some point you got to know when to stop. So maybe I'll stop now. Because I could just keep rendering and rendering and be like, oh, these rocks are going to be... More rocks and more rocks. But that looks good. This rock's in the front, so it'll make it a little thicker. This rock's in the back, so it'll make it a little darker. So yeah, I miss going to concerts. I've been watching a lot of YouTube about bands and, and concerts. I miss going to concerts. It feels like it's been a long time since I've seen a show. And it might still be a long time before I see a show. Isn't that right? Yeah. Peanut Gallery agrees. Right? Yep. Everybody agrees with me. Everybody here. We're all hanging out, drawing comics on a beautiful, sunny, southern main day. So yeah, go to DylanDistraction.com. That's my YouTube channel. Go to MakeComicSchool.com. That's my Patreon if you want to support my work. Uh, ink it up. 2022, my sketchbook edition is going to be, it's available right now for pre-order. So go to batlanticstore.com and this drawing will be in it. All my drawings will be in it. And if you want to buy any of these Gen Xtober pieces, please, batlanticstore.com is where you can buy my work, support my work, share my work, enjoy my work. And um, dylandistraction.com is my YouTube channel where you can watch me draw, which is maybe where you're watching this. So Dylan Andrews Art is my website. So I think that's all you need to know. I mean, really, if those links aren't enough links, I don't know what to tell you, because that's a lot of links. So enjoy, share my work, comment, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Thrilled to be able to draw for you. Thrilled to be able to make comics. And uh, I'm going to keep going. So nothing's stopping me. Nobody's stopping me yet. Nobody's trying to stop me yet. So I'm going to keep trying and making art and living my life. So hope you're having a wonderful day. And wherever you are, you're filling your life with things you love and enjoy. Isn't that right, Peanut Gallery? Peanut Gallery agrees. Sneezy McGee. All right, have a great day. Bye.